So today, I'm going to cook some pork spare ribs in a slow cooker. Very simple recipe, super easy. Anybody can do it. Yes, you can cook some great spare ribs. Just follow this recipe. I've got here about, uh, about four and a half pounds of pork spare ribs. I've got the uh, slow cooker. I've got some sticky fingers barbecue sauce that I'll be using. I've got Pam cooking spray. It's always good to first spray your crock pot or your slow cooker with the pan. You'll be happy you did that when it's time to clean up. Now, with ribs, it's about four and a half pounds here, but you can use about five pounds. I've already cut them up to be able to fit into the slow cooker. And all I'm going to do is coat each side of these ribs with some of the sauce. Put them in the slow cooker. Just rub each side, stick them in. I usually try to put the larger pieces in first because you don't want the smaller pieces trying to Hold up the top of your the lid of your slow cooker. Just one more piece after this one. And prep is almost done. We've only been doing this for a moment, and this is a lot easier than a lot of other ways you'll see ribs being prepared that take much longer, but give about the same result in the end. All right, let's get that out of the way. And just put the lid on the slow cooker. And I'm going to turn it to low for six hours. So I need a timer. Okay, Google. Set a timer for six hours named ribs. All right, a three hour, 28 minute, 19 second timer called hours and ribs. No. And that okay, started okay, Google. now. Cancel that timer. Okay, I canceled it. All right, sometimes Google Home doesn't get it all right. Okay, Google. Set a six hour timer named ribs. All right, a six hour timer called ribs. And that's starting now. All right. So now we've got our timer going and we've got our ribs starting to cook. I am not going to touch this for six hours. I'm going to leave it alone. Actually, I forgot one thing though. We want to pour in the rest of our sauce. Almost forgot that step. So pour in the rest of our sauce here. And then we cover it up when we've already got our timer going. Now I won't touch it. We'll come back in about six hours and see what's happening there. Okay, go, go. Stop. So our ribs are finished cooking, so I'm going to take them out. After I take them out, I'm going to coat them with a different barbecue sauce. I like to use Jehu's sugar-free, cut the sugar a little bit. And after I coat them on the top with some of that barbecue sauce, I'm going to put them into the broiler for a 10-minute run through the broiler, and then they're all done and good to go, they're ready to eat. So I'll show you that now. Slow cooker off, unplug it, and I'm going to start putting my, putting my ribs on the grilling rack here. Now 
these are really near ready to fall off the bone to get really really tender in there and this set here is almost totally off the bone look at that they're almost off the bone that's all our ribs start, start coating them in my other barbecue sauce here And by the way, G. Hughes sugar free barbecue sauce, great stuff. Great stuff if you want a good sugar free barbecue sauce. Best tasting sugar free barbecue sauce I've tasted ever. <laughs> Alright, so these are ready to go into the broiler. So there's the broiler. Let you see them going in. We'll set our timer. Okay, Google. Set a timer for ten minutes. All right, ten minutes. Starting now. We'll see how those look in ten minutes. Okay, Google. Stop. All right, it's been 10 minutes. I'm going to turn the oven off. I'm going to see what we have here. All right, look at that. That looks pretty well like some good charred barbecue. And it's ready to eat. There you go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, you can also check out my blogs. And I'll be making some other videos of other cooking. And have a good meal.